Hello everybody and welcome to the channel. In today's video we're going to be taking a look at the newly released Takara Tomi Transformers Masterpiece MP54 Reboost. This guy of course is the twin repaint of the upcoming Masterpiece Skids and without further ado let's get straight into the video. So here we have Reboost as he comes packaged in his Honda City style hatchback and honestly I think this is by far one of the best vehicle modes that Takara have ever put out for their Masterpiece line. Honestly the attention to detail for this is fantastic and they've even gone the extra mile to incorporate some special features into this of which I just wasn't expecting at all. So as we take a look here towards the front you can see some fantastic sculpt as well as paintwork i'm a huge fan of what they've actually been able to do here with the headlights you can see how that's got silver paint inside with the transparent plastic actually applied over the top really realistic and you can also see there that honda insignia slap bang in the center the paint across the board is super nice as well everything that you're seeing here is in fact paint there are no areas of which are just cast solid plastic besides the actual black that we've got going on here for the tires everything's been painted really really well you can see some nice indicator lights here picked out in an orange and then as we just turn our attention to the side the black strip's been sculpted and painted really well. You can see there the handle, as well as the tiny little key lock. We've actually got where the fuel would insert, which has been sculpted really nicely. And then as we just spin our attention here to the back, you can see that black outer lining with this rear window wiper actually sculpted and painted as well. Some really nice Honda details. This is, in fact, a fully licensed vehicle, which, of course, is awesome. And you can see there the tail lights have been painted as well as sculpted once again really, really well. And as we just turn our attention here to the top, we do, in fact, actually get that sky view window, which, to match the rest of the windows, has too been cast out of that smoky plastic which I think is great as it just helps to conceal some of that internal robot mode kibble that perhaps you'd be able to see if they had decided to go with just a full clear transparent piece. You can also see the window wipers here have been sculpted. Overall, it's a stellar looking vehicle mode, but it doesn't end there. They have in fact actually packed in a few additional features. So if you lift up this bonnet, it will indeed reveal some internal details such as the engine piece. So you can see there some nice circuitry going on there. We've got some really nice paint as well as sculpt work. I think that looks super, super cool. As we turn our attention here to the back, you can in fact actually open up the trunk. So just open this section up. Now this is mainly used here for vehicle mode to in fact actually store the weapons, but all of these are fully removable. So we can just take these here and set them off to the side. To be fair, these ones here are a little less easy to actually remove, but you can see just untap those. And there is actually quite a considerable amount of room actually in there. So that's super cool. You can see there, got some nice sculpt work going on for these sections but this can conceal very nicely and as we actually turn here to the side I'll open this one just so I do in fact actually have the holographic figure inserted here we can indeed in fact actually open the doors to reveal that holographic guy actually inserted where the seating area would be now sadly there's no internal dashboard detailing or steering wheel detailing but honestly I don't think it's too bad at all if we just remove this guy and take a very quick look at him this does appear to be the same figure that we actually saw with the MP Optimus Prime albeit this time just cast out of transparent plastic actually not looking to too bad at all you can see there's some pretty nice looking details where that face sculpt is concerned as well as there for the uniform but as mentioned this is just a recast with one of the mini figs that came with optimus so definitely be cautious of some of those ball joints as they do have a tendency to pop off but we do get a ball joint here at the head which can look left to right up and down but once again be very careful that they don't in fact actually pop off the same can also be applied here for the shoulders as well as for the hips and for the knees but i won't bend them just in case i do indeed actually pop those sections off and then if we just very quickly can seal this we do in fact also get the moto compo which too has been detailed and painted really nicely so of course we've actually got the honda logo sculpted into this which looks fantastic you can see they're picked out in a very nice glossy black we've got the moto combo detailed there on the side as we just turn our attention here you can see very nice looking wheel details as well as these actual sections of which you can actually get the holographic guy to hold but to be fair it is very fiddly to do so i shan't demonstrate it in this review but definitely a really nice piece sculpted and painted very very nicely and in regards to some of the firepower we'll discuss that more when we get him transformed up into robot mode so talking of robot mode let's begin the transformation so turning to transformation despite this guy being a masterpiece he is in fact actually fairly simplistic so to begin with you're going to want to come here to the front bonnet once again lift this section here up it can be quite difficult to in fact actually get this section raised but we're going to want to take these side view mirrors and in fact just compress them here inside we can then take this and just snap that there like so you'll then want to turn your attention here to the back just disengage the doors and of course come here to this side you can see that they are indeed actually held on via these pins so if they haven't done so already you are going to want to extend them and of course repeat the same process we can come here to the trunk disengage this and in fact actually detach this entire section here from the back piece so just lift this entire region up we can then come here to the legs extend this like so take these sections here and in fact actually pull these out which will then allow you to split these legs bring these all the way down and then here for the fires you're just going to want to snap that into place come to this side snap that section into place and then this section will more or less just fill out this gap that we've got going on here so just snap that in there 
of course, come here to this side and just snap that in there. We can then come here to the foot, disengage this, and you can see that we've got a tiny tab that will in fact peg there into that slot, so snap that in there. We can then take the heel spur, fold this to the back, and then this wheel will rotate around and in fact actually store within this section. Of course, come to this side and repeat the same process. So extend the foot down, snap the toe there, of course, come to the heel spur, fold this section out, take the wheel, fold that section in and essentially that is the entire lower section of reboost fully transformed then we turn our attention to the more fiddly aspect of the conversion but once again this isn't too bad at all so you are going to want to take these arms here and try your best to in fact wriggle these sections here out so just pull this here until we do get this section here outwards, rotate that to the side, of course, come to this side and repeat the same process. So try your best to in fact actually rotate here at this joint. Just pull this section out, which will then allow you to take this wheel here and hinge it out to the side. We can then split these doors open as you're going to want to disengage this entire windscreen here from the main body. We can then push the head sculpt up just like so. And then as we come to these sections, you can see that we've got these tiny little blue tabs, which will in fact actually store within these cavities. So hinge that into place and hinge that section into place. And then you can also see that we've got this red tab here that will in fact peg there into that slot. So for this, it is just a matter of aligning this up appropriately and then come to this side and also get this one aligned up as well. And then we can just shoot both of those tabs in there just like so fully solidifying the upper body to of course the lower torso spin your attention here now to the back you're going to want to compress this compress this and we will in fact actually create a tiny slot that will in fact peg into this tab so just hinge this back section down and then snap that section in there Come here now to these wheel sections. You're going to want to open this section up and then you can see this tab that will indeed peg into this slot. So it's just a matter of aligning this up appropriately. So snap that in there. Of course, come to this side and repeat the same process. So just align that up, snap that into place. Come here and rotate the shoulder so that this section is now facing the front. We can then fully extend the arm, rotate here at the wrist and of course come to this side, rotate that section around, fully straighten out the wrist and the forearm. And with all that being said, here we have MP54 Reboost fully transformed up into his pretty cool looking robot mode. Now, truth be told, I actually don't know anything in regards to this guy other than that maybe he's based on a Diaclone character. To be honest, I really only picked him up because out of him and Skids, he was the first one that was available and I just was so impatient to actually get my hands on this particular mold as, at least from some of the in-hand images, it appeared to be one of the best MP figures that Takarotomi had put out in quite some time. And I can confirm that in regards to the materials, it most certainly is. Honestly, when we got Starscream and RC, they were definitely a step in the right direction, but recently we've gotten some pretty poor figures. Even that MP Optimus Prime wasn't built the best. It had some issues in regards to the knees as well as paint scratching. Bumblebee was just plagued with QC issues as was that Hound. Honestly, Hound is one of the biggest flunks that I think Takara have ever put out, but this guy is actually built really well and it's indeed fun to pose around, so definitely incredibly excited for skids, but nevertheless, taking a look here at Reboost, he does indeed have a brand new head sculpt, so that is one of the major differences when in comparison in two skids and if anything this actually reminds me of animated Optimus Prime you can definitely see that there with the silver mouth guard as well as the blue helmeted section but there's some really nice looking sculpt work going on here you can see the paint for the eyes have turned out really nicely as well as these yellow sections on the side of the head and the sculpt work for the most part also looks pretty impressive now as we turn our attention to the torso of course you've seen this in the vehicle mode but the only real difference here is that the actual side view mirrors have compressed within this section but I think the shoulders are really cool I do in fact actually like how they reverse for transformation to expose some of this very nice detail as well as paintwork as we spin our attention down to the arms you can see some very nice sculpt work going on here for the forearms as well as for the fingers and I really also like how they utilized those additional components just to fill out some of those hollow spaces honestly that's a super nice touch in my opinion but it is just a shame that they couldn't eliminate this hollow space that we've got going on here for the backpack but that really is just a minor critique and to be fair he actually compacts really really nicely a lot better than the likes of that MP Bumblebee now as we turn our attention here to the actual crotch plate you can see some nice yellow details going on here for the actual skirt region some nice blue 
blue. Very nice metallic silver going on here for the thighs, of course. Just be cautious of paint chipping. You can see a tiny bit there, but honestly, it's nothing to write home about. And then as we just spin our attention down to the lower section of the legs, I think the sculpt work, the proportions, as well as just where everything ends up is once again very, very impressive, especially that yellow detailing that we've got painted here, as well as the silver, and of course, those blue toes. Now, turning to articulation, surprisingly, he's packed load. So here for the head, we of course do get a ball joint. This can look up and down, and you can also utilize the transformation joint to in fact actually exaggerate that range. But just focusing on the ball joint alone, you can see that can extend to a pretty decent range. Of course, it can look down. It can also tilt side to side. Honestly, it's pretty non-existent, but it can of course rotate left to right we do in fact get a rotation here at the shoulder as well as a hinge joint so despite the design it's not compromised at all you can see a fantastic range at the shoulder rotation here at the bicep double jointed elbows due to transformation as well as a full wrist rotation you can also utilize the transformation of these wrists in order to get a pivot forwards and backwards the index finger as per tradition with these takara mps is in fact individually articulated although it's pre-posed due to its scale and the other three fingers are in fact conjoined but still pretty nice we do indeed get a full rotation going on here at the waist the legs kick forwards that far on ratchet joints as well as can kick back to that far sadly that is non-existent but they can also hinge out to the sides so definitely be cautious of that silver paint and this piece and these are really the only areas that i have an issue with these are very very loose and considering they're on pin joints there really is going to be no way to in fact actually stiffen them up now this could be an isolated issue here for my copy but considering they're pins honestly it doesn't make me optimistic for some of the other versions but with that being said this one actually doesn't hold too bad at all here for the knees we do in fact get a hinge joint which can bend slightly past 90 and finally for the foot we do get an ankle rocker pivot and due to transformation this can hinge forwards and backwards so articulation actually isn't bad at all it would have been nice to have seen maybe some soft ratchet joints for the outward range here for the actual hips but definitely a really cool figure painted really nicely and sculpted really well now getting down to some of the accessory implementation he comes with a total of three blasters all of which have been cast or painted in this super awesome chrome so you can see here we've got this double barreled weapon i believe this is the same accessory that does come packaged with skids in order to actually add it onto this guy you have a few options so you can peg it here either onto the outer side or on the inner side i personally like to peg it here on the outer side so that chrome tab as well as that one there at the top just simply peg here in it to the side so we can just snap that there into place you can see it looks really cool as we turn our attention to this one you can see that we also do have another tab and slot that will peg into this side so it simply does just go over the top just like so pegs on there really well and then finally we do in fact actually get an almost handheld weapon but this too also pegs into the arm so fold this nozzle out and then come here to this handle flip this section forwards and then for this essentially you can indeed actually grasp the hand around the handle but the main grip is via the tab and slot that we've got here on the top of the forearm so slide that in snap that into place and then just wrap the fingers around and then we've got reboost with some of these accessories now sadly it's impossible to in fact actually get this one added on at the same time due to there being no clearance but i guess you could just set that off to the side and overall not looking too bad at all Turning for some size comparisons, here we've got Reef Boost compared next to Masterpiece Sunstreaker, MP Ironhide, as well as finally MP Optimus Prime. So, some final thoughts here for this Takarotomi Transformers Masterpiece MP54 Reboost. Overall, despite me not knowing anything about this character as an actual masterpiece figure, this is definitely one of the best built ones that Takarotomi have put out in recent years. I really do think the materials as well as the paint are top notch, as you would truly expect from Takara. It is leagues above what we actually saw from MP Hound, and it's definitely more akin to what we saw from Starscream and RC and if anything it's actually built a little better than those two so if you thought those were built well then you're definitely really going to love this guy I think the posability here for robot mode is fantastic he looks exactly how he should of course that being mainly a repaint of skids a figure which I actually cannot wait to get in hand now actually owning this guy as I think that blue color scheme as well as the actual skids head sculpt is going to look fantastic but definitely a really really cool looking guy in regards to the actual Honda City style hatchback alt mode they've done a fantastic job definitely one of the best Takara vehicle modes that we've ever seen from the masterpiece line the attention to detail is impeccable. I love the fact that you can indeed actually lift the hood of the vehicle up to reveal some of the internal detailing. The trunk can open up to in fact actually store some of those additional accessories and the holographic human is a nice touch overall and the motor compo actually for such a small accessory is really detailed 
as well as very nicely painted. So with all that being said, for those of you who are a fan of the Masterpiece line, then this is definitely going to be an awesome release. But it really does just come down to the simple fact as to whether or not you are going to pick up Reboost, Skids, or in fact, if you're going to pick up both of them. I actually think this guy's really awesome. And truth be told, even if Skids had in fact actually come out before him, I probably still would have picked him up as I'm a huge fan of the head sculpt as well as the overall colorization. I would love to know down in the comment section below on what you guys think of this newest Masterpiece figure release by Takara Tomi. Do you guys like it as much as I do? And does it make you just anticipate the arrival of that Masterpiece Skids even more? As always, I thank you all so much for watching. And until my next review, I'll see you then. Thanks for watching.